Power Train System. In this tutorial video, we'll explain about the location of components and how to work powertrain. System on the 773 air truck. Powertrain. Powertrain components. Shown in the top visual is the ICN lockup clutch valve. 1. On the 773E, 778E. Shown in the lower visual is the new ECP lockup clutch. 2. On the 773F, 775F. The lockup valve uses transmission control oil from the transmission charge filter to provide torque converter lockup. The transmission ECM energizes the lockup solenoid. 2. To engage the lockup clutch in the torque converter. The transmission ECM must receive at least one of the two transmission output speed. TOS. Signals and the converter output speed cause signal before it will energize the lockup solenoid. Schwann in the visual is the 773E, 775E transmission and torque you convert charge filters. 1. Dot. The charger filter is located on the left frame rail behind the LEFDT front tire. Shown in the bottom visual is the 773F, 775F transmission and torque converter charge filter. 2. Dot. The charge filter is located the same location, however, the filter has been changed to a single filter. The charge filter has a filter bypass and a bypass switch. The filter also has a pressure up and an SOS port. Transmission. Shown in the top visual is the 773E, 775E ICM control transmission. Dot. A cover has to be removed in order to check the clutch pressure on the ECM system. Shown in the bottom is the 773F, 775F EPC transmission. This new transmission has pressure taps located on the outside of the transmission. The feature will aid in preventing contaminations from entering the transmission as well as saving time when checking the pressures on the 773F, 775F transmission. Shown in the top visual is the 773F, 775F transmission input speed sensor 1. Shown in the bottom visual is the 773F, 775F transmission output speed sensor 2. Pressure tap from the powertrain system. Shown in the top visual is the pressure tap. 1. Located in the left side of the transmission. The pressure indicated at the tap 1 is for transmission lubrication oil. Shown in the top visual is the pressure tap. 1. For the lockup clutch valve. The pressure indicated at the tap. 1. Is the pressure in the lockup clutch. Shown in the lower is the pressure up. 2. For the outlet relief VLVE. The pressure indicated at the tap 2 is the pressure inside the torque converter. Shown in the top visual is the transmission and torque you converter charge filter board. 1. Is an S. O S board. Port. 2. Is a pressure tap. The pressure indicated at tap. 2 is the pressure for the transmission charge oil and lockup clutch charge shown in the lower visual of the transmission control valve pressure tap. The taps are as follows. Lube oil pressure can be checked at tap 3 system pressure can be checked at tap 4 clutch 6 pressure. Can be checked at tap 5 clutch 5 pressure can be checked at tap 6. Clutch 7 pressure can be checked at tap 7. Clutch 4 pressure can be checked at tap 8. Clutch 3 pressure can be checked at tap 9. Clutch 2 pressure can be checked at tap 10. Clutch 1 pressure can be checked at tap 11.
powertrain electric control system. Shown is this visual of the inputs and outputs for the 773F-775F trucks. The purpose of the chassis ECM is to determine the desired transmission gear and to energize. Solenoid to shift the transmission up or down as required based on information from both the operator and machine. This ECM also control all the hoist function. The chassis ECM receives information from various input components such as the shift lever switch, transmission output speed TOS senses and the transmission gear switch. Based on the input information, the chassis ECM determine whether the transmission should upshift, downshift, engage the lockup clutch or limit the transmission gear. These actions are accomplished by sending signals to various output components. Output components include the transmission solenoid, lockup solenoids and others. The engine ECM. The machine monitor system and the chassis ECM all communicate with each other through the CAT. Data link. Communication between the electronic controls allows the sensors of X system be shared. Many additional are provided such as control throttle shifting. CTS. Dot. CTS occurs when the chassis tells the engine ECM to reduce or increase engine fuel during a shift. To lower stress to the powertrain, the CHSSSI's ECM is also used to control the hoist system. The host lower sensor sends duty cycle input signal to the brake ECM. Depending on the position OT, the sensor and the corresponding duty cycle. The brake ECM will signal the chassis ECM. The chassis ECM will energize one of the solenoids located on the host valve. The electronic technician. ET service tool can be used to perform several diagnostic and programming functions. Thanks for watching. Do not miss another tutorial video from channel YouTube. Go tech SGT.